Hi, this is Jeff Foster with Sonic Fire Pro 5. In this tutorial, I'd like to show you kind of a round trip workflow using Sonic Fire Pro 5 with After Effects CS5. Now I've got this project that I already have a soundtrack created for, but I kind of want to mix it up a little bit. It's three minutes long. I've got this soundtrack that I've already created in Sonic Fire Pro 5, and I want to change it up so it kind of changes mood a little bit between uh, this point of him talking in front of a fireplace to him now standing talking directly to the camera. And... Well, I could come in here and I could fade in and fade out and add another soundtrack and do all of that here in After Effects, but there's such a better workflow working inside Sonic Fire Pro 5. So I'm going to actually start with the AIF that I've already created right here in After Effects CS5. I select it here in the project panel and I'm going to come up here to edit and then edit original. And as soon as I hit that, it's going to launch Sonic Fire Pro 5. Okay, as soon as that starts up, notice how it brings my whole project back to life. I just opened an AIF file, but all of this data was already embedded in that AIF file. So it opens it up as a new project. Uh, I've got all of my mood map points. I've even got my video here. So I can just start editing anything I want to do. If I want to change my mood mapping, whatever, I can do that now. Uh, right inside Smart Sound. And look, it's tracking my video right where I want it. I want things to change right about in here. Yeah, maybe I want a totally different piece of music to start after that. Well, I could just grab the end of this one, drag it down here, okay, and maybe bring it back a little more where it's just kind of starting to overlap where he starts to talk. Well, I'm not just cropping this. This is actually changing the structure of the second part of this uh, entire piece. So let's play out what this sounds like here in the last few seconds. But things that I find of interest, that when you put all the pictures together, they comprise a mosaical portrait of America. Okay, I want probably a little bit more there. i pull this out just a bit more. There we go. That's going to give us more of a finale right about the time that mosaic piece shows up. Together, they comprise a mosaical portrait of America. So that's nice. That kind of gives me a swell. Now I can add a second track here. So uh, let's try something else here. Let's type in where we started before, Americana. Americana. And we had chosen this Heartland Americana 4. Well, I don't want to use that one again. I want something like it. Well, there's a nice feature here. I come down to this little search button. I click it and click more like this. They've got uh, everything's keyworded or it's uh, tempo oriented. It's uh, kind of feeling oriented. Uh, there's a lot of great uh, sounds in here. Let's try a couple different feels. Okay, that's a little too much like Apocalypse Now or something. Okay, that's kind of nice. It still kind of keeps that epic feel to it. Let's try this one. This is how I want it to start with this feel from where I'm uh, at in my movie. I kind of like that with a little oboe in there. Uh, we're going to need, what, about a minute and a half or so. Let's just type that in there. I'll just put a one in here and insert. And it's going to insert it right where I left off. It didn't give me quite the full uh, amount of time that I need in here. I'm just going to drag this down to the end. And that will fill in everything that I need. Well, let's see what it sounds like right now without doing any other variations. Mosaical portrait of America. Okay, something I could do here is maybe pull this just a little bit so it overlaps right about there. But when you put all the pictures together, they comprise a mosaical portrait of America. For 30 years, the camera's been my friend. Great, so it just kind of masked that. I don't need to really even fade anything in and out there. I just kind of leave it the way it is. Now I've got my mood mapping. I can just uh, come up here and go from full to dialogue since he's talking right there. And now we can hear how that's going to change. They comprise a mosaical portrait of America. 
For 30 years, the camera has been my friend, and I've spent most of my... Okay, still a little hot. This track may be recorded a little higher or something. I can go in there and fix that. But what I want to do is come out here first, right after the camera click, right about in here. And I'm going to add my mood mapping. So I can make this go to full, because I really want that to be a nice full sound as it goes through that music video. Okay, so that'll really work for that. Now, what I'm going to do here is I can do all of my level controls right here as well. So I'm going to bring this over just a little bit. I'll add in a little keyframe. And then I come over here just a bit, add another little keyframe. And now I can drag that down. Oh, just a few dB. Let's go to about six. And, okay, and I will pull this one down to match. There we go. So now let's listen to this transition. When you put all the pictures together, they comprise a mosaical portrait of America. For 30 years, they See, that's a lot more balanced. Now when he comes out of here and goes into the full, that this is all about. This is why I did this. And now, if you all smile, I'll take your picture. Great. Now, that's exactly what I was looking for. That's perfect. Now, all I have to do is save it, export it. So I'm going right back to the project folder. I'm going to even name the AIF file the same because I want to overwrite what I did so it's easier for me when I go into After Effects. Just replace it and it's going to render out. And because it was done in Sonic Fire Pro 5, I can open up that AIF file and do whatever else I want to at any time. It keeps all of this data in there. So now let's take a look at this in After Effects. It automatically pulls that AIF file uh, back in for us. Let's do a little RAM preview here of the center section to see how that transition is between the old uh, soundtrack that we created and the new one. Kind of interest that when you put all the pictures together, they comprise a mosaical portrait of America. For 30 years, the camera has been my friend and I've spent most of my time standing behind it in search of the images that comprise my portrait of democracy. Okay, so you can see just how easy this workflow is. Going from After Effects CS5 right into Sonic Fire Pro 5, do all of our editing, changing up our uh, libraries, our music libraries, changing the soundtrack, bringing it right back into After Effects CS5 automatically. It's a great workflow, and I really hope you find this tutorial helpful. This is Jeff Foster for Sonic Fire Profile.